Okay, let's add a Python interpreter for this PyCharm project. Now you can be seeing invalid Python interpreter or select a Python interpreter or anything like that. We will fix all that today. So yeah. Now, as you can see down here, it's showing Python 3.11 or if in your case, it will be probably Python 3.10 or 1.2 or no interpreter or configure or whatever. Anyway, let any case be, we will fix all that today. So if you don't have Python installed, by the way, uh, I'll show you how to install that. Just check the link in the description below and you will just see how you can Python, install Python. And that is not linked to PyCharm. That is the Python interpreter that is globally that can be globally available. It's not linked to PyCharm or VS Code or any other IDEs. So you just need to have Python interpreter installed. But once that is installed, you can create Python interpreters or you can add Python interpreters for your specific projects uh, that can be done by using virtual environments. So whatever error message you are seeing, you can click on this configure Python interpreter right here, or you can click on this and click, you can click on add new interpreter or and you can click on add local interpreter or you can click this and then you can click on add new interpreter or and then add local interpreter so what is this local interpreter this will be an interpreter specific to this project so that we can install dependencies specific to this project in this virtual environment so that other projects are not affected by these dependencies so let's click on add local interpreter and this will show you what is the base interpreter to use this base interpreter is the python that we install globally that is not related to pycharm so for now we will click on this base environment and if you have anything else selected uh, select this virtual in env environment and then click on the base python that is installed in your computer the path is as you can see here users vishal abdita local programs this is the default python installation directory it can be this with your username in your computer so you can go to that path copy the path and come here and yeah after this just click on ok or you can also change the path where this virtual environment will be created by default the project directory inside the project directory a venv folder will be created and in this venv folder you will have python installed from the global base interpreter okay now click on ok and your virtual environment is being created let's wait for a while okay while this is installing let me just tell you quickly what this project is okay i'm creating a crypto trading bot in python if you are interested on how you can create your own trading bot hit subscribe and follow and hit that notification icon so that when i release this you will be able to see this and hopefully you can you know do your own customizations and probably make a lot of money using a crypto bot okay yeah now we have virtual environment installed and it is selected by default. So as you can see here, it shows, if I click on this, it shows Python 3.10 crypto trading bot. Uh, and we have these two available here. I can click on this one because this one is, I had already deleted this, so this is not available. I click on this and if I see, check here, the VENV is also created. That's how you can create a Python interpreter. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.